Reincarnation of the Strongest Sword God Written by Lucky Old Cat Chapter 70 Success or Failure Boils Down to the Same Person Korok Fields, this was the playground for the level 6 grassland lion cubs. At this stage of the game, there were very few players who would come here to grind and level up. That was because the level here was slightly higher. Moreover, the monsters were numerous and concentrated, making them hard to kill. These grassland lion cubs hunted in groups of three to five. Sometimes they would even be followed by a fully grown elite grassland lion, making them very hard to deal with. However, there was currently a six-man party on these fields, fighting a group of lions. A girl dressed in water blue armor brandished her greatsword, directly confronting an elite grassland lion. Not only did she easily evade the grassland lion's sharp claws, she even took the chance to attack and deal damage. Her valiant appearance could captivate even women. This girl was the snow goddess, Gentle Snow. She had already reached level 5, and she wore the level 4 bronze set equipment, Azure Scar. In her hands, she held the mysterious iron ranked conqueror's sword. Compared to before, her current strength had greatly increased. Also, there was also a shield warrior who was not any weaker, tanking for grassland lion cubs at once. The party's healer, Xiao Yuer, chanted a prayer, her delicate hands tracing divine texts in midair. Xiao Yuer took care of the shield warrior while also healing Gentle Snow, allowing both their HPs to remain above the safety line. The flame witch, Xiao Yueru, was also wearing the level 4 fantasy flame set equipment. Large fireballs constantly shot out from her hand, causing a frightening amount of damage to appear above the grassland lion's head. Within moments, they massacred the group of elite lead lions. Gentle Snow picked up the loot from the grassland lion, discovering that it was a skill book. No equipment dropped. She then looked towards Xiao Yuer, saying, Xiao Yuer, it's your sacred light shield. Learn it quickly. After some rest, we will continue looking for another grassland lion. We absolutely must get the revival skill. Great. With this skill, healing won't be so intense anymore, Xiao Yuer happily said as she received the skill. Currently resting, Zhao Yueru suddenly asked in a curious tone, Snow, that hammer trading has already garnered a huge amount of fame. We should at least send a person to recruit him. We can still increase our guild's fame if we're successful. Moreover, his forging skills are not bad. It would be unfortunate if we were to let some other guild snatch him away. No need. It won't be long before level 3 bronze equipment is of little value. He only knows how to forge level 3 bronze equipment and doesn't possess any forging designs for higher level equipment. Why should we spend a large sum of money fighting over him? We would just lose out on earning a little money. Moreover, we don't even know when our guild would be able to obtain a forging design for high-level bronze equipment. What would we need him for? Gentle Snow shook her head. She held no particular interests towards a person like Hammer Trading. Instead, she said, on the contrary, I'm more interested in the Black Flame Forger, especially the Forger's actions. I cannot see through his intentions. If he wanted to attract the attention of first-rate guilds and stand out, then he has no reason to hide his name. There would be plenty of large guilds contacting him. However, he has hidden his name, preventing anybody from contacting him. That means that he does not wish for others to know of his identity. Yet, he still competed with hammer trading, lowering the price for his equipment and letting everyone know of him once more. Now that he has entered our eyes, at the most heated moment, he suddenly withdraws from the competition and fades out of our sight once more. He has continuously brought us three different kinds of forged equipment. Being able to obtain that many forging designs for bronze equipment shows that he has great strength. Yet why would he suddenly withdraw? What is this black flame forger's goal? Or did he withdraw because he already achieved his goal? Until now, I still don't know what that black flame forger is trying to do. He is filled with mystery in all aspects. Snow, how about I have someone research this forger? Hearing you say so, even I want to see what kind of person he is. After hearing Gentle Snow's analysis, realization struck Zhao Yueru. She suddenly grew an interest towards this black flame forger. 
She also felt this person was not simple. Her interest towards the Black Flame Forger's identity overflowed. Just the thought of being able to expose this person's identity made her feel slightly excited. Meanwhile, inside an intermediate forging room on the second floor of the Forging Association, everyone, how goes your consideration? Hammer Trading sat cross-legged, casually asking as he looked at the representatives of the first-rate guilds with narrowed eyes. However, the conditions set out by Hammer Trading caused these first-rate guilds to go silent. Hammer Trading's conditions were too harsh. Just the villa he wanted in the city he lived in and the annual salary of 5 million credits would cause these guilds to take a step back, not to mention that he wanted all resources to be prioritized to him. Such treatment was most likely only enjoyed by the guild leader and the vice leader. Meanwhile, Hammer Trading wanted the same treatment as them. Then, didn't that mean he would be on equal footings with the guild leader and vice leader? You guys have to think through this clearly. It isn't easy for me to earn such a great reputation. As long as I join your guild, your popularity will immediately soar and surpass the other guilds. You won't have a shortage of bronze equipment and will be able to earn a large sum of money because of my forging techniques. The price I've given shouldn't be considered much, Hammer Trading said with a smile. His face held an expression that said, If you don't recruit me, there will be others who will. Don't regret it when that time comes. Hammer Trading had these first-rate guilds eating out of the palm of his hand. Right now, each of these first-rate guilds wanted to be a step ahead of the others. If so, they would be able to have a larger advantage in taking hold of a city. The wealth that came with possessing control over a virtual city was not something a mere 5 million credits and a villa could compare to. Hammer Trading's asking price could be considered low. Looking at the representatives of these first-rate guilds, although their expressions held hesitation, their eyes flashed with the conviction of recruiting him. Hammer Trading suddenly felt his action of investing all of his possessions into the competition this time was truly wise. If he hadn't steeled his heart to borrow money from loan sharks at the last second, he might have actually lost to the Black Flame Forger. Fortunately, the Black Flame Forger bit the dust a step earlier than he did, allowing him to taste the final fruit of victory. Just as Hammer Trading was being pleased with himself, the expressions of the numerous representatives around the conference table suddenly changed. Each and every one of them revealed expressions of shock and ecstasy. Brother Hammer Trading, I am truly sorry, but our guild has decided to withdraw from this competition and yield to the other guilds. Our guild won't be joining anymore, and I still have matters to attend to, so I'll be leaving, Star River Federation's representative suddenly said. This price is just too high. Our guild can only give up as well. We can only hope to cooperate with you in the future. For a moment, all the guild representatives started leaving. Moreover, every one of them seemed to be in a hurry. It was as if they could not help but to immediately run to some other place, not wanting to waste even a little time. What do you all mean? Not negotiating anymore? You guys better not regret it. I'm a forger that can craft bronze equipment. I won't join in the future, even if you all beg me. Is being able to forge bronze equipment amazing? Right now, the auction house is selling forging designs for bronze equipment. With the forging design, we can nurture our own forgers. We don't need to spend as much as 5 million credits at all. One of the representatives coldly laughed at hammer trading before leaving the forging room. What did you say? Speak clearly before you leave. Hammer trading abruptly stood up after hearing this. He thought he had heard wrong.